We all know it takes some time guessing, a little trial and error, lots of frustration, and a continuous effort towards completing the final picture. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies. Good evening, everyone, and a very warm welcome. Let me embark you on my bits of order. The very first few years of my life were the first pieces of this jigsaw puzzle very carefully put down by my parents. They made sure it turns out to be a very interesting and a complex puzzle. I was put in a military style school. What to eat, what to wear, what friends to make, everything was dictated by my parents. They didn't even let me change my name. I was named Numan and for 24 years of my life I couldn't find one unique pronunciation to this name. <laughs> my friends at school called me no man. <laughs> my cousins called me no me. My English professor called me new man. <laughs> when I came to Berlin, my Arab employer called me no man, no man. <laughs> Life is shaped in a complex prison. I just had to solve it. Six years ago, one big piece of puzzles comes and fits in. I found admission in one of the business schools in Pakistan which was very far away from my hometown. I still remember my first day at dormitory. Entering my room, I found a bunch of seniors waiting for me. That night, my friends, they made me dance. They made me dance on Shakira's hips don't lie. <laughs> and they literally ensured that the whole night my hips didn't lie. <laughs> that was the start of a road of the ride and I had a very good learning from, from that time. In just four years of my life, I graduated from a prestigious university. I had worked in four to five different leadership positions. I went on a social exchange abroad. I made some really good friends and I cherished a very good life. Those years of my life, they brought ahead an extrovert, expressive and social me. A person who would later want to go and find new people and new culture. After I got graduated, another piece of puzzle comes and joins this big piece. I got a job. I got a job in an FMCG that sells diapers. <laughs> I was working for a company that sells diapers. It was a very travel intensive job. In just two years, I traveled in more than five different cities. From very rural, traditional minded cities to very fast paced metro, metro cities. And I was selling diapers. And you know what? I was getting good at selling diapers. <laughs> I was so good. See this. <laughs> Show of hands, how many of you think that they will never ever have to buy a type in their life? See, no one. I, I was such a, I just came off the fence with customers from my company. Now, traveling in all these different cultures, suddenly I found that I am, like, I have championed this art of adapting to any new member I am going to. Now, working in Bahrain in just two months, I was somehow, somehow settled very well in this culture. You know what? I don't want to get out of my couch in the morning. <laughs> so, working in this different cultures and cities, I came across different nationalities from Arabs to Indians to Philippines, Filipinos to Europeans. And you know what I realized? I have emerged as an expert racist in this country. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> With these two pieces of the puzzle in hand, now I can clearly see where my life is taking me. I am heading towards becoming a giant corporate diaper cell. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? For that, this is a tough job. You know, it's a tough job. I need a very good skill set, communication and leadership. So to equip myself with that, I go into Toastmasters International so that I can refine my leadership and communication skills and I can be one day become a charming diaper <laughs> and hopefully a charming eligible bachelor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, life is like a jigsaw complex puzzle. There will be times in your life when you have to gather all the pieces, put them together and you may fail miserably but that's okay. There will also be times in your life when you have to disassemble this puzzle, find some new pieces and put them together and that's okay too. Keep finding these new pieces of puzzle and keep adding them, adding them because you know what? By the time you will go and reach 80 years old, all grey and toothless, life will not give you any more chances 
you will fill in more new pieces. You will only be able to look back and see your jigsaw puzzle. That is your life. And you will be able to see how beautiful you created it. Just before I end, I just want to ask two quick questions and I want loud answers. What is my name? Yes. Yes. And what do I do for living? That's